the oldest unequivocally modern human skull ever discovered, was not found in Africa or Europe. It was discovered high up in a remote mountain cave in Southeast Asia. The findings show that modern human teeth were deposited in the cave between 73,000 and 63,000 years ago, implying that modern humans were present on the landscape at the time. One of the most interesting caves in mainland Southeast Asia was frequently overlooked as a potential route along the region's accepted path of human dispersal. Indeed, this fossil discovery suggests that modern humans migrated out of Africa and into East and Southeast Asia at an extremely rapid pace, and that once there, they were not limited to environments they had previously encountered. We now have fossil evidence to show that modern humans existed long before we thought they did. Homo sapiens sapiens arrived in Southeast Asia as early as 86,000 years ago, according to a human shin bone fragment discovered deep inside the cave in Laos. The 86,000-year-old human bone discovered in the cave also suggests a failed population from prehistory. The discovery of a skull and shin bone fragment in a cave in Laos has also pushed back the earliest known date of Homo sapiens in Southeast Asia. The discovery was made at the Cave of the Monkeys, located on a mountain in northern Laos at an elevation of approximately 3,840 feet, or 1,170 meters, above sea level. Human bone fragments discovered in the cave were 70,000 years old, representing some of the earliest evidence of humans in this part of the world. This discovery prompted archaeologists to investigate further. They discovered two new bones, according to a study published in the journal Nature Communications. The bones, which include fragments of the front of a skull and a shin bone, were most likely washed into the cave during a monsoon. Despite the fact that the bones were fractured and incomplete, the researchers were able to compare their dimensions and shape to other early human bones, discovering that they were more closely related to Homo sapiens than to other archaic humans such as Homo erectus, Neanderthals, or Denisovans. Interestingly, the Cave of the Monkeys is just a stone's throw from Cobra Cave, where archaeologists recently discovered a tooth, 150,000 years old, belonging to a Denisovan, a now-extinct human relative known only from remains found in Siberia and Tibet. This suggests that the site may be on an ancient dispersal route for hominins. The cave continues to uncover pieces of the ancient human journey around the world. Only time will tell how many discoveries more are in store that rewrite the history of humanity. Researchers used luminescence dating of nearby sediments and uranium series dating of mammalian teeth from the same layers to determine the age range of the human remains. Luminescence dating determines when crystalline materials, such as stones, were last exposed to sunlight or heat, whereas U-series dating, like carbon-14 dating, measures the decay of uranium over time into thorium, radium and lead. They estimated that the skull was up to 73,000 years old, while the shin bone was dated to 86,000 years ago. This early date is remarkable, especially given that researchers have long debated when Homo sapiens arrived in Asia. The peer-reviewed study investigated bone fragments discovered in the remote cave in the mountains of northern Laos. For decades, researchers have debated the human colonization of Southeast Asia, attempting to understand how and when humans crossed straits and seas to end up in Australia and Papua New Guinea. The region including Laos is thus prime place to ask some of these migration questions because mainland Southeast Asia sits at the crossroads of East Asia and island Southeast Asia. According to the study, bone fragments found in the cave provide new evidence of early, unsuccessful human expansions outside of Africa. Additional evidence from China, India, Malaysia and Indonesia, including stone tools and human teeth, suggests that modern humans were present in this area at least 80,000 years ago. This is significant because it happened prior to the 74,000-year-old Toba volcanic eruption, which at one time was thought to have created a population bottleneck that wiped out most of the modern human population living at the time. This hypothesis has been thoroughly debunked in recent years, however. Traditional hypotheses for human expansion out of Africa include an early dispersal model, 
in which humans left Africa between 130,000 and 80,000 years ago, as well as a later dispersal, which occurred after this time. The second theory, which proposed a rapid exodus from Africa between 60,000 and 50,000 years ago, with the population divided into two groups that travelled to Europe and South Asia, was strongly supported by genomic evidence. Meanwhile, a new Arabian standstill hypothesis suggests that modern humans paused in around the Persian Gulf for around 30,000 years, between 90,000 and 60,000 years ago, before expanding into the rest of Eurasia. Despite some genetic evidence of earlier dispersal in modern Australasian populations, which accounts for 1% of their genetic makeup, this event was not considered particularly significant. But now we have evidence of a significant modern human population living in Southeast Asia 80,000 years ago. According to the researchers, the bone fragments in the cave may even date back to 92,000 years ago. The researchers consider this a conservative estimate. The investigation also turned up evidence of approximately 56,000 years of human activity at the site. The site experienced the majority of its activity between 86,000 and 44,000 years ago, and the fossil record provided clear evidence that a so-called unsuccessful attempt to disperse from Africa occurred around 70,000 years ago. The evidence also showed that the fossils were not the result of multi-regional evolution or admixture with Homo erectus or Denisovans, but rather came from human immigrant populations. Nonetheless, this discovery, along with recent discoveries of other archaic human species in Laos and neighboring countries, show that Homo species diversity was high in Southeast Asia. This contradicts previous theories, which only considered successful modern human expansions. Genetic studies would not provide evidence of unsuccessful human expansions because those expansions failed to pass on their genes. The idea that Homo sapiens arrived in South Asia from Africa seemed all too plausible until a few doubts arose. Indeed, peer-reviewed articles in paleoanthropology and archaeology have sparked debates about whether modern humans originated in Africa. The theories in use today imply that modern human dispersals were primarily influenced by lithic assemblages, a small number of fossil remains, and genetics. According to the most widely accepted theory, modern humans left Africa around 120,000 years ago and only began colonizing the rest of the world 40,000 years ago. However, researchers were concerned when they discovered no fossil remains at any of the important sites along the distribution path. While genetic and stone tool evidence to date strongly supports a single rapid dispersal of Homo sapiens from Africa sometime after 60,000 years ago, studies like this one are uncovering evidence for earlier migrations, many of which may have been dead ends. Perhaps this was a group that dispersed to Southeast Asia and died out before they could contribute genes to today's human gene pool. The stories of these failed populations are interesting so that we aren't just looking at the successful ones. Sadly, no stone tools or other traces of these humans' lifestyles have been discovered, but archaeologists studying Asian prehistory have long suspected that even before 65,000 years ago, ancient archaic humans were capable of reaching islands and crossing seas to populate seemingly remote parts of the world. The scarcity of stone tools at Southeast Asian hominid sites suggests that humans developed a technology based on bamboo, a strong and versatile material. Bamboo could have also been used to construct rafts, shelters and household tools. The claim that Homo sapiens arrived in this region before 60,000 years ago is not new, but it is useful to have additional confirmation in the efforts to fill gaps in the archaeological record. The discovery also demonstrates that early modern humans did not simply follow the coast south to the islands of Southeast Asia and Australia, as some researchers had previously suggested, but also travelled north into very different types of terrain. Nonetheless, this discovery challenges the only out-of-Africa theory of modern human origins. Given their age, fossils in this region could be direct ancestors of the first settlers to Indonesia and Australia. In fact, mainland Southeast Asia was most likely a crossroads for multiple migration paths. The discovery also supports genetic studies that show modern humans inhabited that region at least 60,000 years ago. 
but this is the first fossil evidence that confirms the genetic data. Furthermore, an Indonesian research team used new archaeological techniques to address a long-standing question. Were human teeth discovered more than 120 years ago in a cave in Sumatra, Indonesia, truly modern humans? The techniques enabled them to identify and date the ancient human teeth from the Sumatran cave. These teeth hold the key to determining when humans first travelled through the region and provide the first evidence of modern humans in rainforests. It was a journey that ultimately led humans to Australia and Papua New Guinea. Nevertheless, this evidence has been ignored when determining the path of human dispersal out of Africa and to Asia, owing to concerns about the age and identification of the teeth. The study sought to establish a definitive age for the teeth and determine whether the teeth indeed belong to a modern human. To demonstrate the significance of this evidence, researchers used advanced modern dating techniques and cutting-edge imaging methods to confirm the age and identity of the teeth. The tooth analysis allowed scientists to examine the internal structure of the teeth, revealing the enamel thickness and the junctions between the enamel and dentine. These junctions are critical in distinguishing modern human teeth from ape teeth found in orangutans and other human species. Scientists used a variety of dating techniques, luminescence, uranium series and electron spin resonance dating, to improve the accuracy of fossil ages. Because the techniques measure different events, such as the last exposure to sunlight and the time cave rock deposits were laid down, any agreement between techniques indicates that the resulting age is likely to be accurate. The fossils found in the cave also suggest that modern humans lived in a rainforest environment. This cave site is not on the accepted route of modern humans dispersing through this region, which is believed to be further east of Sumatra, or closer to Borneo. It was thought that modern humans preferred coastal routes, but there is now evidence of modern humans inland, in western Sumatra. Living in dense rainforests necessitates complex hunting technology and knowledge that the first humans to leave Africa lacked. Yet evidence of modern humans in rainforests dates back to when they first arrived in Southeast Asia. Perhaps the conditions along the coast were unsuitable for survival. It is difficult to imagine how Sumatra's coast would have looked. The sea level would have been lower than it is today, so this evidence would now be underwater. However, we do know that surviving in a rainforest is difficult because it necessitates complex planning to locate and secure adequate food. But the best evidence suggests that by at least 60,000 years ago, modern humans were capable of meeting this challenge. So, were the first humans much faster at travelling from Africa to Asia, much better at adapting to new environments, and much better at exploring new territories than we previously thought? The evidence appears to suggest so, implying that Southeast Asian caves may still have many surprises to reveal. Because of the cave's location, humans would have had to travel from Africa over many generations and with numerous intermediate stops. In summary, the discovery of 86,000-year-old human bones and teeth in a cave in Southeast Asia suggests that attempts to leave Africa were unsuccessful. According to the study, new data show that prior to the last successful expansion, modern humans attempted to expand several times. However, if this was an unsuccessful out-of-Africa attempt, how could modern humans have arrived in a remote cave high on a mountain in Southeast Asia? And with that, we leave you to contemplate the mysteries of our shared human history. Continue to be curious and ask questions. Until next time, please explore our channel's other videos, share them and subscribe. Thank you and take care.